115 years ago, on the dunes of Kitty Hawk, North Carolina became the birthplace of aviation. Ever since, this state has been at the center of aviation and aerospace innovation. That tradition continues now as unmanned aircraft systems, or drones, become more and more prevalent. We know there's going to be impacts. We know that it's going to impact aviation, but not just aviation. It's going to ripple out into every other industry and business sector you can imagine. The North Carolina Department of Transportation Division of Aviation has been leading the U.S. side in North Carolina for over years now. We have been helping public safety agencies and commercial companies, hobbyists in North Carolina integrate this technology. You know, what we hope to happen here in, in North Carolina is that North Carolina becomes the center point of the new industry and uh, you know, we'll be part of that. And new industries typically bring new jobs and improve quality of life. So I think that's something that North Carolina has, has to look forward to. Since 2014, NCDOT's Division of Aviation has taken the lead to promote the safe integration of drones, helping state and local agencies become among the first in the country to use drones in unique and vital ways. Well, we've been uh, using drones and photogrammetry since about 2014, and our main purpose is to collect uh, imagery. We will be offering the residents of uh, Holy Springs in North Carolina uh, an undermanned food delivery service uh, using drones. We've been using drones to map crash scenes, creating orthomosaics, uh, 2D orthomosaics, and also doing some 3D modeling. We're here to provide sensors, particularly radar, that's going to make sure that we have safe skies, that what's operating up there is operating safely. Uh, Zipline designs, manufactures, and operates drones that deliver blood and other life-saving medicines. Um, to some of the world's most hard-to-reach places um, in any weather or any terrain. Soon, the state will even feature drone-based delivery of medical supplies. North Carolina's participation in the UAS integration program is really exciting because we are now witnessing a transformation in aviation. The integration pilot program is a big win for our state. Uh, we are first in aviation and uh, with this win uh, we will or we should be the first in package delivery, medical package delivery. I hope that this is one of the first places in the country that really gets to see a full commercial implementation of things like medical package delivery. Some of the partners that are working with us on the IPP have a long history of being able to deliver life-saving materials, blood, vaccinations to areas that need them in countries around the world. We would really like to see those similar kinds of functionalities here for the residents of North Carolina. Our participation in this program is also going to highlight the full potential of using drones for commercial and government use. We're able to break down the regulatory barriers that have held back the true benefits of this technology. As the industry advances, North Carolina is in prime position to be at the forefront of drone innovation and growth. It's hard to think that 115 years where aviation has taken us, and I feel like we'll be saying the same thing in less than 100 years, it's going to be hard to think, you know, what drones did for us. And as we look at UAS, it's really a bigger picture of next-gen aircraft modernization, aviation transportation modernization. The future of drones is changing dramatically, and this is why people need to stay attuned to this technology. I think there's just this internal motivation by so many of us that we want to be historical in what we can do with drones, what we can discover, uh, the benefits from it. You know, North Carolina is making a huge investment in, in drone technology. There's universities in the RTP area in particular that are investing in, in drone technology and you know, we want to be part of that. It means a lot of jobs will be created. It will put North Carolina as an innovative hub. Um, so yeah, only good things to come. You know, there's so many opportunities here, it just, uh, it's exciting.